In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Praise to you, O Christ, Lamb of our salvation. Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening. And the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness. And shine within your people here. Joyous light of heavenly glory, loving glow of God's own face, you who sing creation's story, shine on every land and race. Hours evening falls around us, we shall to you, God of daybreak, God of shadows, come and light our hearts anew. In the stars that grace the darkness, in the blazing sun of dawn, in the and wisdom, we can hear your quiet song. Love that fills the night with wonder, love that warms the weary soul, love that first soul chains us under, set us free and make us reading from Psalm 64. Hear my voice, O God, and my complaint. Preserve my life from dread of the enemy. Hide me from the secret plots of the wicked, from the throng of evildoers, 
who wet their tongues like swords, who aim bitter words like arrows, shooting from ambush at the blameless, shooting at him suddenly and without fear. They hold fast to their evil purpose. They talk of laying snares secretly, thinking, who can see them? They search out injustice, saying, we have accomplished a diligent search. For the inward mind and the heart of a man are deep, but God shoots his arrows at them. They are wounded suddenly. They are brought to ruin with their own tongues turned against them. All who see them will wag their heads. Then all mankind fears. They tell what God has brought about and ponder what he has done. Let the righteous one rejoice in the Lord and take refuge in him. Let all the upright in heart exult. A reading from Proverbs chapter 6. There are six things that the Lord hates and seven that are an abomination to him. Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. A heart that devises wicked plans, feet that make haste to run to evil. A false witness who breathes out lies, and one who sows discord among brothers. O Lord, have mercy on us. Thanks be to God. A reading from 2 John. Grace, mercy, and peace will be with us from God the Father and from Jesus Christ the Father's Son and truth and love. I rejoice greatly to find some of your children walking in the truth, just as we were commanded by the Father. And now I ask you, dear lady, not as though I were writing you a new commandment, but the one we have had from the beginning, that we love one another. And this is love, that we walk according to his commandments. This is the commandment, just as you have heard from the beginning, so that you should walk in it. From many deceivers have gone out into the world, those who do not confess the coming of Jesus Christ in the flesh. Such a one is a deceiver and the antichrist. Watch yourselves so that you may not lose what we have worked for, but may win a full reward. Everyone who goes ahead and does not abide in the teaching of Christ does not have God. Whoever abides in the teaching has both the Father and the Son. If anyone comes to you and does not bring this teaching, do not receive him into your house or give him any greeting, for whoever greets him takes part in his wicked works. O Lord, have mercy on us. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, the 22nd chapter. Now the feast of unleavened bread drew near, which is called the Passover, and the chief priests and the scribes were seeking how to put him to death, for they feared the people. Then Satan entered into Judas, called Iscariot, who was one of the number of the twelve. He went away and conferred with the chief priests and officers how he might betray him to them. And they were glad and agreed to give him money. So he consented and sought an opportunity to betray him to them in the midst of the crowd. O Lord, have mercy on us. Thanks be to God. Deliver me, O Lord, my God, for you are the God of my salvation. Rescue me from my enemies. Protect me from those who rise against me. In you, O Lord, do I put my trust. I leave me not, O Lord, my God. Rescue me from my enemies. Protect me from those who rise against me. Deliver me, O Lord my God, for you are the God of my salvation. Rescue me from my enemies. Protect me from those who rise against me. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Wednesday of Holy Week. It's the sixth Lenten service. The final Lenten service before next week, Holy Week. And the plot, the plot has been set. Set by those who are evil. Satan, seeing an opportunity, enters Judas Iscariot. Enters him. And tempts him. And more than tempts him, Judas Iscariot walks hand in hand, fingers interlocked, 
with the devil. And it seems joyfully goes off to hand Jesus over to death. To death. To death. There it is. That's the thing. That's the work of the devil. Death. It's the only thing that he really has over us. It's the only thing that he can really use to try and attempt to control us. Death. We've seen it this past year. The threat of death and what it will cause people to do. The threat of death and what it will cause and how it will cause people to act. The attempt to control in the face of death. And so Satan walks with Judas, and Judas walks with Satan. And they're going to betray, Judas is going to betray Jesus. Tomorrow, the Thursday of Holy Week, Monday, Thursday, betray Jesus with a kiss of all things. Jesus knows. He knows the plot. He knows the stakes. He knows and feels the betrayal of someone that he loves so dearly, so completely and totally, and trusted. Judas. He even tells Judas, go, do what you need to do. You see the time. It's come. The time of God is being fulfilled. Jesus is betrayed, handed over to evil men. And these evil men are evil. <laughs> they will beat him and spit on him, scourge him, flail him, open his skin, put a crown of thorns on him in a, in a purple robe, mocking him. All Jesus ever did was love, teach, preach, heal, and perform miracles and threatened, threatened by His authority, they plot. Oh, what power will do to men. will make them hold hands with the devil. Jesus is not about the world's power. He's about God's power. Jesus is not interested in the world. His love is for His Father. And His task is clear. It is crystal clear. He will suffer and die for sins. He will suffer and die for sinners, for you and for me. As we approach this holy week, 
we are reminded of the sacrifice, the propitiation for sins, the shedding of righteous blood, the death, the death of Jesus. And that glorious, glorious resurrection through which we now have life everlasting. The devil will never hold hands with us again. And we will never hold hands with him again. We have repented. We have turned. And we hold the hand of our loving Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And he holds our hand. And that Lord, that brothers and sisters in Christ is called faith. Jesus holding our hand and leading us down paths of righteousness for his name's sake. The devil, you no longer have any power over us because you have been defeated. Sin has been defeated. Death has been overcome. And you, your power, Satan, is no more. We stand and live in the power of God through Jesus Christ. And that is the forgiveness of sins. We are reconciled to God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. An angel went from God to a town called Nazareth to a woman whose name was Mary. The angel said to her, Rejoice, O highly favored, for God is with you. You shall bear a child, and his name shall be Jesus, the chosen one of God most high. And Mary said, I am the servant of my God. I live to do your will. My soul proclaims your greatness, O God, and my spirit rejoices in you. You have looked with love on your servant here. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. Merciful and everlasting God, 
You did not spare your only Son, but delivered him up for us all to bear our sins on the cross. Grant that our hearts may be so fixed with steadfast faith in him that we fear not the power of sin, death, and the devil through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you were betrayed by one of your own disciples and handed over to death. Forgive us for the times that we have betrayed you and deceived others for the sake of selfish gain, so that we might pick up our cross and follow you on the road to Calvary, for you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O God, from whom come all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works, give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and also that we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may live in peace and quietness through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless our God. Praise and thanks to you.